As the midday sun beat down, a group of parishioners huddled under a tree, looking for shade but seeking a miracle. I said my prayer and asked the Lord to give me a miracle because um, I'm really, really sick. Rosemary Navarro counts herself among the believers, a small but growing group that thinks the liquid dripping from this crepe myrtle tree is the tears of God. When you say glory be to God in Jesus' name, the tree starts throwing out more water. On close inspection, arborist John Reelhorn agrees something is falling from the tree in front of St. John's Cathedral, but it isn't water. The aphids will suck the sap, the sap goes through the aphid, and then it's a honeydew, that excrement from the aphid, and it gets so heavy in the summertime that it'll drip down. Reelhorn says it is a natural process. He also found another tree dripping across the street. And like the honeydew rolling off its leaves, clinical therapist Mark McCumber says the way people choose to interpret it can also be attributed to nature. Human beings inherently need to hope for things, um, things that they can't understand, things they can't see. Miracles are nothing new in Christianity. In fact, their origins can be traced back to before the time of Jesus. But for Catholic Miguel Beja, the tree doesn't qualify. For me, it's a, it's a natural natural thing, but some people, they said it's a different. Maria Ibarra was the first one to feel the drops this Wednesday, and whether they're aphid waste or water, she believes they're divine. I can tell you, looking at it from a scientific standpoint and from a spiritual standpoint, it's the work of God manifesting here on earth.